Palliative care is a philosophy or approach to care for patients and families with advanced life-threatening illnesses. This includes active and compassionate care of patients who are dying in the last days to a few months of their life, but also provides care earlier in terminal illnesses, especially if they have symptom management issues. Palliative care may also be referred to as hospice care, end-of-life care, or supportive care. Hospice may refer to a program or to a facility where care is delivered. The goal of palliative care is to help patients live as well as possible by enhancing their quality of life and maintaining their function. Relief of physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual suffering is paramount. The patient and family are considered the unit of care. Care is provided in the location where it is needed, including home, medical offices, clinics, and hospitals, as well as nursing homes and hospice facilities. Palliative care is usually for cancer patients. It is also for those with other conditions, including ALS, MS, as well as end-stage renal, cardiovascular, and respiratory disease, when dying from the disease is likely within a reasonably short time. The modern concept of palliative care recognizes the benefits of starting palliative care even during the active treatment phase of a patient's illness, as opposed to when disease-modifying agents are no longer offered. Good communication, the importance of goals of care, symptom management skills, and whole person care with dignity are what you need to know. Here are some general principles of good palliative care. 1. Clear and honest communication is a key to good palliative care. Patients want to know what is happening and what the future might hold. They have the right to know what might happen. They can choose how they want to be looked after and how to spend their remaining time and energy. 2. Symptom management skills are an important part of the physician's role. Common symptom problems include pain, nausea and vomiting, dyspnea, bowel care, delirium, and others. 3. Dignity-conserving care is a valuable approach. Our attitude, behavior, compassion, and the dialogue we have with patients and families tells them how we care about them and how we perceive them. Psychosocial care may include discussion of fears for the future, family support, grief and bereavement, and support with spiritual issues.